In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about everything you need to know about enchantments in Pet Simulator X, as well as some super secret enchantments that you definitely did not know existed. Okay, so starting off, let me tell you about some common enchantments in Pet Simulator X. So first of all, legendary tier pets and above automatically have enchantments, and it's also possible to manually enchant any pet that's above mythical tier. And you can do this by using the enchanting circle, which is located in the fantasy world. There's no way you miss it. Enchanting a pet costs a total of 10,000 diamonds, and in hardcore, pets cost 500,000 diamonds. It's way more difficult that way. Enchantments will give you individual buffs which you can stack with each other, which tends to be pretty useful. Most enchants come in different levels, with level 5 being the highest possible level that you can get for any enchant, and the lowest level obviously being 1. And another special thing about legendary pets is that they can have unique enchantments when they hatch, and you cannot change these enchantments. And pets above the mythical tier can have up to two different enchantments, along with event pets. Those pets can also have two different enchantments, with one of them being the variant of the companion enchant, which is a really useful one. Then we got mythical and secret pets, which can have three enchantments, with at least one of them having a unique enchant. Exclusive pets can have up to four enchants, and one of these pets is called the Dominus Darkwing, and it's a really overpowered pet, just because of how many enchantments they can have on it. And keep in mind, if you fuse or combine any legendary pets, the new pets that will be born will be re-enchanted with new enchantments, which be completely different from the ones you originally had. So keep that in mind before you decide to start fusing your pets. You might lose some really good enchantments. So now I'm going to be telling you about all the different type of enchantments in Pet Simulator X. First up, we got the coins. And this one lets you earn more coins depending on which level the enchantment is. If it's level 1, then you get 15% more. If it's level 2, then you get 30% more. If it's level 3, you get 50% more. If it's level 4, you get 75% more. And if it's level 5, you get 100% more. Next up, we got an enchantment for fantasy coins. And I'm sure all of you know what this is. It's just coins coins but in the fantasy world and the tiers are exactly the same with level 1 being 15% and level 5 being 100. Then we got the exact same thing for tech coins, then we got the same thing for rainbow coins as well as well as cartoon coins. Next up we got a new and unique enchant and this one is called teamwork and this basically lets pets do damage when they work together and this stacks with other pets. And this enchantment only has a tier 1 because it would be really really overpowered if it had a tier 2 to 5 and the first tier obviously gives it a 15% more damage boost. Next up we got super teamwork and this is the exact same same thing but obviously since it has super in the name instead of having a 15% increase you're gonna have a 30% increase for this one next up we got charm and what this does is it increases your chance of getting a bonus while having this enchantment equipped it and it increases your chances by 25% which is pretty useful especially because it's boosting your chance of getting a bonus next up we got strength and now we're back to the tiers and strength is pretty self-explanatory it's basically just how much damage your pet does for tier 1 we got 15% for tier 2 we got 30% for tier 3 we got 50% for tier 4 we got 70% and for tier 5 we got 100. It's pretty similar to the coin boost but for the tier 4 instead of having a 75 you got a 70. Next up we got agility and basically what this does is let your pet move a lot faster. And in my opinion this isn't really that useful of an enchant. I would definitely prioritize strength and other things over this but regardless it's still an enchant you can get in the game so I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This enchant only has 3 different levels. For the first one it boosts your speed by 20% and for the tier 2 it boosts your pet speed by 35% and for tier 3 it boosts it by 50%. Next up we got diamond and this is also really really self-explanatory it's just the boost that you get when mining diamonds and this one isn't going to be as op as the coin boost because otherwise it would just be way too overpowered for tier 1 we got a 10 percent boost for tier 2 we got a 20 percent for tier 3 we got a 35 percent boost for tier 4 we got a 50 percent boost and for tier 5 we got a 65 percent boost next up we got an enchantment called chest breaker and this does more damage to chest this can be chests that go in any sizes the small ones all the way up to the huge ones so the first enchant is 50 percent the tier 2 is a 100% literally in tier 2 and then for tier 3 we got 150 damn that's really overpowered but keep in mind it does have no tier 4 and tier 5 but if it did then that would be way too overpowered it would literally increase this pet's chest breaker speed by 250% and that would have just been way too overpowered next up we got gifts this is the amount of damage the pet does to gifts and this one only has 3 tiers as well so first up we got a 30% boost and for the tier 2 we got a 70% boost and for the tier 3 we got a 100% boost literally double next up we got the multiplier for mad and this gives you a pet boost on coins that are earned during random multipliers. These can be things like the potions that you have activated, like the damage boost ones. And this one obviously has 5 tiers because it's not that big of a deal. So the first tier is a 15% boost, the second tier is a 30% boost, the third tier is a 50% boost, the fourth tier is a 70% boost, and the fifth tier is a 100% boost. Next up we got the diamond bag luck, and I'm sure a lot of you have not heard about this, and this is the diamond bag drop chance in the diamond mine. And obviously this enchant is not going to increase it by a huge 
Digimon because that would be way too overpowered and make it way too easy to farm diamonds. So tier 1 increases it by a mere 2%, tier 2 is a 4%, tier 3 is a 6%, tier 4 is an 8%, and tier 5 is a 10%. And that's it for all the enchantments that are in the game. But let me tell you about some unique enchantments. So obviously there's some rare forms of enchantments known as unique enchantments, and because of this, they're typically much better than the common ones. Now, unlike common enchantments, these do not have levels, so they can still be enchanted from the enchantment circle in the fantasy world. And keep in mind, all of these enchantments stack. So first up, we got Royalty. And this is exactly what it sounds like. Your pet does 100% more damage, earns 100% more damage, and moves 50% faster. And the buffs that are given are obviously 100% strength, 100% more diamonds, and 50% more speed. Next up is an enchantment type called Magna. And for this one, your pet can collect orbs for you, which will save you a lot of time because you don't need to keep spinning around every single thing that you collect. And for this one, your pet will collect orbs that have a range that's equal to your orb collection range. So it depends on yourself, but it's still a really useful enchantment. Next Next up we got glittering, and for this one the pet randomly spawns diamonds. And who wouldn't want this enchantment? It sounds really amazing, a bunch of free diamonds. What this does is your pet spawns 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, or 80 diamonds at a random interval. And this interval is completely unknown, but the amount of diamonds you get will stack over time and it will be really useful when it comes to completing the game. Next up we got best friend, and for this one your pet will always be stronger than your best pets. And this is a really overpowered enchantment because you can literally get the best pet in the game if you have enough pets. And what this buff basically does is it'll make one of your pets that has this enchant 150% stronger than the average stats of your best 4 pets. And obviously since this enchantment is so good it's unobtainable through the normal enchantment table. But anyways it will always appear on huge pets because that's just how they work. Next up we got companion and for this one it'll basically make your pet always as strong as your best pet. And it's just like the one above this but a little bit worse. And this one has different tiers so the companion one will make it 50% stronger than we got companion 2 with a 60% then companion 3 with a 75% and these enchantments usually appear on every single exclusive and event pet that's added after the addition of season 1 DLC pets. Next up we got titanic and what this does is it'll basically let your pet always be much stronger than your best pet. I said a different variation of this enchantment twice already but this one is definitely the best. What this does is it'll make your pet 500% stronger than the average stats of your best 4 pets and obviously this enchantment is completely unobtainable through enchanting it will always appear only on the titanic pets and if you're wondering what these pets are they're basically bigger big pets i'm pretty sure a lot of you have not seen these an example of this pet is the titanic jolly cat and a pretty cool thing about these titanic pets is that you can actually ride them and they make huge pets look like little babies next up we got super glittering and for this one, your pet spawns in a lot of diamonds, way better than the glittering enchantment from before. And obviously it works just like the previous one, but it's a lot better. Your pet just spawns in a bunch of diamonds at random intervals. And this enchantment is obviously unobtainable through the enchantment circle in the fantasy world. And it will always appear on huge crown pets. These are pets like the huge crown cat, the huge crown corgi, and the huge crown pegasus. Next up, we got diamond bag master. And what this does is basically has a 4% chance to upgrade your diamond bags, which you get from the diamond mines. This enchantment is guaranteed on the huge diamond cat and the way you get this pet is hatching it after the diamond mine update next up we got evolved and basically what this does is it lets your pet always be much stronger than your best pets but it's not as good as the titanic enchantment from before literally i don't think anything beats that so what this does is it lets your pet be 300 stronger than the average stats of your best four pets this enchantment is completely unobtainable through enchanting but it will always appear on the evolved pets that replace the best friend enchant next enchantment we got here is called jelly and what this does is it comes with a random item inside and i'm not really sure how this one works and obviously this enchantment is completely unobtainable through enchanting and i'm not really sure how this works myself so let's head over to the next enchant this one is called chroma and this comes in any random color and basically what this does is let your pet have a random color and this one is just kind of for looks it doesn't really give you any stat benefits but who really cares when you can flex how good your pet looks and obviously just like a bunch of ones from before this enchantment is completely unobtainable through enchanting and this enchantment is unique to the huge chroma lucky and the huge chroma lucky block mimic yeah that's a long name 